In 2004, the Giants started to build their Super Bowl championship roster, beginning with a reliable anchor at the center position. Really, the way that it came to be with the Giants was right before free agency started, um, I decided to drive home from Cleveland. I came home to see my parents, and my agents called and said, hey, we were just talking to the Giants. They wanted to know where you were and if you would like to come in for a visit. So the fact that I came home to see mom and see my parents is how this all worked out, and, and I was able to come up and and meet the coaches and meet with the Giants, and uh, I never got on that plane to Arizona. Coach Coughlin said a couple things to me uh, when I first met with him, and he said, you know, Sean, one of the reasons why we're bringing you in here is not because of just the player that you are, but we need to change the locker room. And he said, I need your help with that, and I need guys to buy in. We have to change the mindset around here. We have to change the culture. And I, I kind of took that to heart. Um, I felt like you know, okay, we're going to do all this together. The following season, the Giants added an under-the-radar tackle, Kareem McKenzie from the New York Jets. When you have a storied franchise such as the New York Football Giants that desire you as a player to add to the organization, I mean, how can you walk away from that easily? It was a win-win situation for myself. McKenzie would be the final piece of the puzzle to one of the best offensive lines in Giants history. You know, O'Hara and Sean and Dill and Snee and Kareem, man, you basically put nine men in the box and you run the football down somebody's throat. I mean, it says a lot about those guys up front. You know, I, I feel blessed to have been a part of um, the Giants organization to be within this New Jersey, New York area for my, the duration of my career and to actually have my family enjoying those successes with me. You know, I was able to go out um, along with a collective gathering of people, accomplish the ultimate goal twice and in loving your career. And, you know, a lot of players don't have that happen once. After four seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Plaxico Burris signed with Big Blue. He would make an immediate impact, becoming one of Eli Manning's favorite targets. Takes the snap, drops back, short set, lobs it right, looking for Plexico. He's got it for the touchdown. We, we had a good team. There was no doubt about it. I mean, everybody was kind of coming into their home where everybody was basically in their prime. We had a great group of guys, and I was just saying to myself that let's just keep these guys together that we got because that's the reason why I came here. First and 10 at the 13. 39 seconds to go. Giants down by four. Three receivers right, Burris left. Manning calling signals, takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! In the left corner of the end zone! Touchdown! With 35 seconds to go and the Giants regain the lead, Manning to Burris! Everybody played hard for each other and we just wanted to win for each other. And that is it, the New York Giants have knocked off the New England Patriots 17-14 and the Giants with the most improbable win in recent memory have won Super Bowl 42. I'm happy that uh, Ernie Acorsi believed in he was responsible for getting me here and I'll always be in debt for him for that. In 2005, the Giants would add their defensive signal caller and linebacker Antonio Pierce, prying him away from the division rival Washington Redskins. Playing against the Giants for four years, I already knew the talent. I knew what they had. You know, played against Tiki, played against uh, Shock and Eli Manning in his rookie year, so I knew what they had. I always felt they were missing a little edge, a little edge they needed, just a, a little bit more fire, a little bit more that passion, a little something to come out, and I thought I could bring that here. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, D. New York brought a lot of different things to me. And I remember when I first got here, that first week or so, one of the media guys asked me, you know, what do you, what do you want to do when you leave here? I said, I want to make a name for myself. So it's third and eight from the 19-yard line. Farve out of the shotgun, marks out signals, takes the snap and drops back. Screen set up left. Complete oh. and then it's stood up by Antonio Pierce, who makes the play at the 19-yard line with a blocker on his back. You talk about a great play by Antonio.
Antonio Pierce. And look what he's got out in front of him. I mean, there's three blockers, and yet he's able to go through them. I want to come here, make a name for myself, be on a winning team and win a championship. World champions, baby. Right back down. <laughs> Following the 2009 season, Entrell Roll was an unrestricted free agent. And on March 5, 2010, he signed with the New York Giants. From the very beginning, Entrell became one of the outspoken leaders of the team. One, two, three, D B. And he exemplified the New York Giants' motto, all in. Prior back, under pressure, sack. Back at the 15-yard line by Entrell Roll. That term meant everything to me. It allowed me to just go out and just be the, the, the type of player that I know I can be for my teammates. Deep ball left side, and it's intercepted by Antrell Roll. He jumped right in front of Larry Fitzgerald at the Giants' 42-yard line. For us to go and, and come together as a team, I mean, that's the only thing that did. I mean, you can say talent, you can say luck, you can say playmaking, but the only thing that allowed us to come together and win the, the Super Bowl was us doing whatever it was going to take for us to, to be united and go out there and win as a team. Brady's back, Brady's under pressure, Brady's chase, Brady heaves one down the middle of the field into the end zone, a jump ball, and it's incomplete, and the ball game's over, and the Giants have won Super Bowl 46. Still will, the heart of a champion. Hey, this is what we mean when we say, all on deck, all in, we will not be denied, world champ. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.